okay welcome back to tube therapy in this tutorial we are going to study about check and unique constraint in sql now check constraint is used to check various records in a table for example we need to give some condition to a record that the value in that particular record should be greater than or less than a certain value for that we will use check constraint now in order to do that let us create a table using create statement that is create table the name of the table is employee let us give the column name as employee underscore id and mark the data type as int mark the employee id as primary key and we need to say that the employee id should be greater than zero then we will use the check constraint we'll write the keyword check and write check the column name that is employee id should be greater than zero also we want to give the employee name which is of where care data type let's say the size is 40 and we want to mark a unique name in each employee id then we'll write unique constraint in for this particular column the next is address employee underscore address it is a bearcat data type and let us say the size is 50 also we want to know we want to uh, tell to the sql server that whenever the user does not give any city name the by default the value which the database should pick is bangalore so in order to do that mark the column name as employee underscore city and give the data type as where care let's say 30 is the size and by default give the empty column the record in which the user has not given the data entry should be marked as bangalore now let us execute this query by clicking on the execute button we see that the command got executed successfully let us insert some values in this table insert by using the insert into statement as used in the previous tutorial insert into employee values let us say the employee id starts from 100 the employee name is carol the employee address is SEO 212 link road and by default we have given the address by default we have given the city name to be Bangalore but in this particular case I am writing it as maybe Chandigarh let us make some copies of this and execute it uh, I am changing the primary key writing the name as uh, let's say alex su313 change the name of the city to dehradun again change the employee id to 102 ross 412 delhi Three Monica SU five hundred twelve Gurgaon four Joy six hundred twelve. Write the city as Chennai and let us execute this 
queries. This insertions. We see that five rows got affected. Let us see the data inserted into the table employee. Employee. We highlight the query and execute it. We see that the five records have been inserted into uh, the table. Now we had put we had marked that the employee ID should be greater than zero. Let us check whether this validation holds by inserting a record which has value lesser than zero. Let us say minus 104 has to be inserted. Let us change the name of joy to let some ABC SEO 712 and city to let us say Pune and execute this query. We see that the uh, SQL server throws an error that it conflicted with the check constraint. The check constraint has been violated since employee ID has to be greater than zero and we are inserting a value which is less than zero. Hence the check constraint has been validated properly by SQL Server 2012. Now in order to check the second constraint that is the unique constraint let us insert another value. Let us put an ID of 105 and give the name as joy. Give the name as joy which was already inserted in the fifth row of the table. Change the address to SEO712 that is already there and let's try this try to execute this query. When I click we see that the violation of unique key constraint has been thrown by the SQL Server 2012. This means that SQL Server 2012 has taken care of the unique constraint that the values in employee name column should be unique. Now, the third constraint which we had applied was that if we do not give any name of the city then by default SQL Server should pick uh, Bangalore as the city name. Now for doing that let's modify this query insert into employee values employee ID the second name is employee the second column is employee name the third column is employee address values let us say 105 joy and we delete the row named uh, the record name the entry name Pune when I select the query and execute it we see that the unique key constraint okay I need to change the name to something else let us change it to some ABC random random value and I when I try to execute it again we see that the one row got affected let us see what is the change now in the sixth row 105 got inserted ABC ABC the address got inserted and we did not give the city name to this in this particular query hence by default according to the constraint uh, in according to the default statement SQL Server 2012 has by default mentioned the city name as Bangalore now this is all about check unique and default keep exploring guys and thank you for watching this video like and subscribe my channel for more thank you